Uh, in the end, I say in Amamet, uh, last year we talked about the opportunity that the Tunisian Post is developing a blockchain-based appli mobile application. And uh, we showed that uh, it was our objective to, to build this application in order to, in order to, to reinforce the positioning of the uh, La Post in uh, financial and social inclusion. So uh, yesterday, the app is launched. Actually, we, uh, we talked it is DigiCash application, and it's launched yesterday on the on the store. A lot of Tunisian download the app yesterday, and they were able to 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 transfer money, to receive money, to send money, and to uh, to to each other. And, and it was a very great success uh, for for La Post because it was a, it, it was a first uh, mobile application used by blockchain. We did a lot of experimentations uh, during uh, one and a half year uh, because we know we, we, we are concerned in sense cyber security. That we, we, we know that uh, with the cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, we have a lot of concerns on that. But uh, using this app with the blockchain uh, private uh, ledgers uh, the based technology, we were somehow confident that uh, the, the security and we can uh, and, the, and the Tunisians could use this application and trust La Poste in providing these uh, this, uh, this, this services. So uh, we did a lot of experimentations. We opened the platform to a lot of uh, people to try and to experiment and to uh, and to try to to hack the app. But it's, I think it's uh, uh, there is no risks actually. But uh, who knows? <laughs> Yeah, uh, first of all, we know that the Tunisian economy and the Tunisian currency is not convertible. Uh, we have a lot of tough regulation in financial market and uh, we think that uh, we need to change things. The blockchain came in, uh, came in and, and, and tried to build opportunities for the Tunisian market. And we, we, we have a lot of opportunity to use the blockchain and to change the, the regulation in Tunisia. Actually, I think uh, the young generation are really willing to use the app because it's very easy and it's very simple for them to, to transform it's not uh, as tough as uh, when we use the other, the, the other systems or traditional systems. So I think something needs to be changed uh, in, in the regulation in Tunisia and uh, Tunisians are really willing to help to do it. Sure. Uh, especially interoperability. Uh, actually, we built a lot of apps are, are, are uh, available in the App Store and the uh, Google Play, and uh, there is a lot of uh, opportunity to download these apps. But uh, interoperability is really a must because if we want to exchange money and to do, we need to be much more open. And uh, interoperability is really, and, the, and the, of course, the cybersecurity issues need to be somehow standardized and to, to, to build this trust.